Hello guys, hopefully you have seen the Toy Box Razor Crest, because today we will be comparing the Toy Box Razor Crest with this mini Bandai Razor Crest, so that we can show you the similarities and differences. So let's do it right now. So first, let's compare the bottoms of the Bandai Razor Crest and the Toy Box version. So basically, the Bandai version has a ball jointed base that can go up and down and side to side, and it can be removable like this. The Toy Box version, however, has really cool gimmicks, and you could flip the landing gear up like this, and it also has a handle so that you could fly this ship by using this part so that you can make it fly like this. While the Bandai version doesn't have really cool gimmicks, except for putting the base on this hole, it has really good detail on the gray Beskar armor. Another detail to throw out here is that the Bandai version doesn't make any sounds, while the Toy Box version does, as you can see here. And another way to make the sounds is by pressing these buttons that also launch the missile, so when you press them, it'll make some fun launching sounds. Comparing the left sides of each Razor Crest, you can see the Bandai version is a bit small, but it has really good colors with the gray silver Beskar armor with a really nice tint of gold, which is a sticker, while the Toy Box version has a bit more gray and it has really nice yellow. And you also have a button here, as I mentioned before, not only it can make sounds, but shoot the missiles, as I mentioned before, so I'll show you right now, if you didn't watch the Razor Crest Mandalorian Toy Box video. So, just press it like this, and then it'll launch like this. The right side of each Razor Crest is basically the same. On the back of each Razor Crest, you can see that the Bandai version doesn't have a lot to it, but it has a really nice color. While the Toy Box version, you could open this up, and you could take out the carbonite freezing chamber, as you can see here. Now, let's move on to the top. So basically, the Bandai version is mainly just a gray silver, as I mentioned before, while the Toy Box version has something really cool. It's mainly just a white gray, but there's actually a button at the bottom so that you could open something up. So we'll just press that button over here, then just press this to unlock, and then it shows you like the carbonite freezing compartment in which I took it out. So this is what it looks on the inside. And to close it, just simply take this back part up, press that button again, just slide it into place. It can be a bit tricky at times and wait until you hear a click and then that's how you do it. Now let's move on to the rocket propellers on each sides on both Razor Crest. So basically, the Bandai version, as I mentioned before, is a bit small, but it has really nice color again. It has a yellow sticker that kind of represents the engines, while the Toy Box version doesn't need any stickers. It's just mainly white gray with a really nice yellow that has a LED so that you could see it light up when you make the sounds. Same for the other side, pretty much the same. Now, let's compare the front of each Razor Crest. So the Toy Box version is basically big, but it has nothing on the front. While the Bandai version, it has really good detail, even if it's small. We have the nice black stickers that are really well detailed. But unlike the Bandai version, the Toy Box version has something really cool. The cool part of the Toy Box Razor Crest, unlike the Bandai version, is that you could slide this part up so that you could fit the Mandalorian or the Baby Yoda inside. And the front panel can slide up like this. And there's a really nice chair inside, unlike the Bandai version. So yeah, that's basically all the things I want to cover with this comparison video, the similarities and differences of the Toy Box version and the Bandai version. So would you prefer the Toy Box Razor Crest that has a ton of gimmicks or the well-detailed Bandai version? Let me know in the comments down below. And also, remember to check out the Toy Box Razor Crest video 
and the Bandai Razor Quest video if you haven't already. Link in the descriptions below. So thank you for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.